Hey guys, Smuggy here. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft bucket server for the Minecraft update 1.7.3. So uh, anyway, uh, before I get started, I'm going to say this is for a Mac, as you can tell by the, uh, the little screen layout here. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, go ahead and go to bucket. Dot org and all the links that I have in this video I will have in the description so just click on the description and that'll bring you to the link and whatnot so anyway uh, you can make an account on bucket you don't have to but uh, what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go off this top bar here all the way to get craft bucket click on that and now you're on a wiki page the bucket wiki page and you want to scroll down to where you reach Mac because this is for a Mac <laughs> so uh, what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to open terminal pretty much as it says right here and I have it on my uh, little desktop thingy here but you can find it by going to the little search browser and typing in terminal and there it is so anyway you're gonna want to copy and paste this and put that in here and it's gonna download this uh, package because they made it so much easier than what it used to be now it gives you a little bit of a package um, and it's it oh man it's so much easier I remember it was a struggle to make a minecraft bucket server like it was hard to find the uh, the bucket server system it was hard to find that like you had to like go through like forums and find someone that actually posted a link to it but I got a link in the description on that but uh I'll get there in a second. So anyway, once it downloads, it shouldn't take that long. You click enter and it'll bring up the launch server dot command file. You're gonna want to go to where it has this RAM in brackets. You're gonna delete the brackets and RAM, not the M. <laughs> that delete that and here is the list of options. You can you can probably do lower, but this is just the uh standard one, uh, 512 equals 512 megabyte you know 1024 equals 1 gig for this example I'm gonna do a 1024 uh, here for 1 gig and then I'm gonna go up here to save as and launch server dot command and it what it does that package it will save a bucket server folder onto your desktop which is pretty convenient <laughs> so uh, but if you don't want it on your desktop move it to where you wish but it's defaultly saved to the desktop I believe so you're gonna save that replace and then you're all good with that you can exit out and you can exit out of this too and get a fresh one so once you have that let's go to our desktop here you'll have your bucket server and you're gonna so uh, before I get any further, this is the craft bucket build, re most recent build, recommended build, and that is bucket build 1000, I believe for me. Uh, it might be newer for you if you're uh, doing this a little bit later than what I am. But uh, the README text is for updating. I normally don't even click on the README text. Like I just update when there's a new recommended build. I'll copy the new one and replace this one, but blah 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 let's keep going before I go off topic here anyway what you're gonna wanna do you go to the terminal window again a fresh one and you're gonna type chmoda plus x space when you space you're gonna uh, drag over this launch server command and it's gonna give the little destination you're gonna click enter once you drag it over and you're gonna have fresh little thing there and then you're gonna double click on the launch server dot command and right here it is gonna load up your world or uh, just start uh, spawning everything and whatnot it'll take a little bit longer for the first run but after this after it loads up all the world it'll be a lot quicker loading up so let that load up once it does I guess I'll pull up minecraft here and show you <laughs> Alright. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to type localhost. And you should be able to log on to your server. I kind of beat it. There we go. Alright. Now, 
right now, only you can join your server. Only you can join on this server right now. Um, okay, and it's not loading my blocks. That's a little weird. There we go. Um, so anyway, here's your little world or whatever. Uh, I don't know why mine's taking so long to load, but uh, that's beyond, besides me, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, disconnect out of that. That's just showing you the world and whatnot. So your world is now created. Uh, you have now gotten lots more uh, little files and whatnot. You got banned IPs, banned players. I don't know what that is. <laughs> like some of this stuff is new from when I made it, so I don't know what this is. I, permissions is a plugin, and I can do a tutorial on that later. Um, ops text, that's a little important. You might as well just do this now. Type in your username. Uh, make your make yourself an op because I mean you might as well and you get full almost full control over your server right there so save that get rid of that and now let's go ahead and uh, get the next thing which is port map port map is pretty much the Mac version of port forwarding so okay don't do that <laughs> um, you're going to want to Google search it. I'll have it in the description of the link. It's going to be uh, Coding Monkeys. You want to go down to where it says For Land Lovers, and you're going to download the application. And I don't need that, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Because I already have it right there. So, do, 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 do. let's see. Once you have that, you're going to pull out Port Map. Uh, I don't need it anymore. I don't have a. I don't run the server off my host anymore. But uh, once you uh, pull that up, you will not. And it, you're gonna want. Ah, okay. Before I guess I'm going way ahead of myself here. You're gonna want to click the plus sign on it. You're gonna want to do local port two five five six five, and then you want to go down to description and put Minecraft. Leave all the rest alone. It doesn't need to be changed. All right, it's gonna make this uh, because I have that. It's gonna, yeah. So mine's just there because I had it there before, but it'll be a blank one until you make your Minecraft description or Minecraft port. So uh, then, once you do that, you're gonna wanna leave that open when you're running your server because that's what allows people to join in. And so anyway, now your server is public. You can go back, like I said, with those files. You can go back here and where did I put it? Yeah, okay. And you can go to uh, server properties, and this will allow you to edit some basic things about the server, like flight, whitelist, uh, play at max players, and whatnot. So uh, that's that. And I guess before I go, I will give you a pretty important op plugin that I mean I've grown used to, and I like it way more than the default op, uh, like. Uh, commands like such as give and stuff um, so what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna go to a scrap bucket and gonna wanna download the one with the green star the latest one with the green star cause that's the one with the green star is the recommended build so that's number 116 for me and as you can see minecraft 1.7.3 you're gonna wanna download that and go to downloads there it is, and I'm gonna. You can just simplify this by just deleting this part right here and just leaving bucket scrap jar because might as well. It's easier and less clustered and whatnot. Um, go ahead and drag that to bucket server and then into the plugins folder. This is where all your plugins will go, and that's pretty much like a modded folder that allow you to activate those things. So whenever you get a plugin. Plugin folder. <laughs> Easy as that. So now you have your bucket scrap command. So let's go ahead and reload the server here. And it I should now be an op as well because I added myself to that text. So once it loads, let's see. Am I opt? Let's go time night. Oh yes. <laughs> Hold on. You can also, and the ops text for some reason just is sometimes unreliable. Just type op your name into the uh, console there and boom, you're opt. So now let's try time night. Boom, night. And you can do give. 
item number TNT 4664 slow oh I have TNT oh no <laughs> so uh, oh yeah because of the update you can't blow it up um, but anyway guys that's about it um, if you guys would like to see some uh, tutorials on how to uh, maybe use this bucket scrap plugins in a greater detail I guess not I mean it's pretty basic it's not that much to do with it but uh but if you need help with any other things such as um, another plugin important plugins like permissions and anything like that if you want me to do a tutorial on a plugin just leave in the comment section below I will do one um, hopefully if I know the plugin well enough so uh, anyway guys Thank you for watching. If this helped you, um, give it a thumbs up, favorite, um, and even subscribe if you like this. And uh, if you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, leave a comment. I'll try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.